Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. Mike here from virtualrealityoasis.com and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a cool and nice, simple little tool that will help you tweak your Oculus Rift settings to get the most out of your games. So it has options for power management, super sampling, and everything else. I'm gonna show you how to set the tool up and how to get the most out of it. So this tool was created by a fellow called Apollyon VR. So thank you to him, to all the hard work he put into creating this tool and giving it out free to the community. What an absolute legend. So I'm gonna show you how the tool works, but very quickly, just wanna give you a channel update. Thank you so, so much for all you guys that have subscribed, liked, and commented on my videos. The last six weeks have been an incredible journey. I feel like I've learned so, so much on the way. Uh, I'm off on holiday now for a couple of weeks, so there's not going to be any content for a couple of weeks, but I'm going to be recharged and ready to come back to make some great content for you guys. Uh, looking forward to doing videos on Knockout VR, uh, Knockout League, and also Robo Recall, which I hope is going to be released very, very soon. But anyway, back to the Oculus Trade tool. Let's dive in. Okay, guys, so here we are on my desktop. First things first is to head over to the Oculus Reddit community where Apollyon VR originally posted the Oculus Tray tool. It gives you a bit of information about the tool here and the various different updates he's uploaded since. Please note that this will not work on Steam games, it will only work on Oculus Store games. So you want to jump here to the download, download the file. It's a very small file and obviously that will appear in your downloads. I generally just extract it here and then I put it where I want to put it and I've got a handy little folder where I pop all my useful tools. So once in there you want to right click on the Oculus Tray tool, EXE, go to properties, compatibility and make sure this is checked. Run this program as an administrator. So check that, press apply and OK and you're good to go. So double click to open the tool and you just want to configure it so it's up and running when we start Windows. So you want to start it with Windows so as soon as Windows starts all your settings are already up and running straight from the get go. Start minimized so it's out of the way you don't even have to think about it and I click this hide from alt tab because sometimes I alt tab between applications and I don't want this to show up so I check that as well. Use the Rift for audio mic. I like to switch between different mics, different audio settings, so I'm gonna leave that blank for now. Moving on to the power options. We want it on high performance. So this is a high performance power plan for your USB ports. Selecting this can uh, resolve some problems with tracking issues and USB issues. I still get the error message on mine saying to update your USB drivers, but I don't find any problems with tracking, just so you're aware. Keep this as disabled. So Fresco registry tweaks and disable Fresco power management on start. This is for those of you that have got Inertech uh, USB port cards. Uh, apparently if you're having issues with the Inertech cards, playing around with these two settings can help those problems. So uh, I'd be interested to hear back if any of you have, fresh, um, have the Inertech card and uh, have managed to resolve any issues by tweaking these. Uh, please let me know. So this is uh, to manage your super sampling. So super sampling just increases the, um, the sharpness very, very slightly. So what you can do here, you can add profiles for different games. So if I click on scan, for example, it will show me all my Oculus games. So you've got Job Simulator in there, Space Pirate Trainer, and what you can do is you can select an, an individual game and uh, adjust the super sampling for that specific game and have different profiles for each game. Uh, I've got a bit of an overkill graphics card. I'm running a, a, a Titan X, one of the older ones, and uh, it's a bit overkill, so I just crank it up to 1.5 and run that all the time on all the games. And uh, it's made a, a very slight difference, but it is noticeable if you use the Rift all the time. You can make uh, make out the difference. So if you're struggling at any point and you want more information, you can click the um, question mark and it will go into the different versions and what you can do, tweaks to optimize uh, for your setup. So like I say, it's got information here, here about the Fresco drivers, etc. 
really, really helpful. Uh, if you click here, it will show you all the um, information from the registry as it changes it. So as you can see, power management has been enabled. This was on startup. This is just about the Oculus service. The fact that the uh, status is up at the moment, so it's online. And you've got some settings here to launch this tool when you start the Oculus service, for example. And this is a little HUD overlay. So you can show performance within the Oculus Rift itself. And so if you're, set, if you're playing around with super sampling and you've got an older graphics card, and you know you don't want to throttle your performance too much, you can show the performance uh, based on these settings within the Rift itself. So it's a super, super cool feature. So that's about it, guys. Like I say, it's a really handy little tool. I've been using it, and I found it really, really useful. Uh, thanks again to Apollyon VR for creating this tool, and I'm looking forward to seeing what updates come out in the future. Thanks again, guys. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was super useful for you guys. If it was, please let me know in the comments below or hit the like button and uh, let me know what your thoughts were, if you got it working, what worked for you, if it didn't work for you even, it's more important. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.